Well, I mean, it was, it was a tough outing for him. You know, I didn't think he, he had his good curveball, which is kind of vital to him. I mean, he threw some good ones, but it, consistently he couldn't do it. Uh, and then, you know, I, th I thought we were going to get to Cologne a little bit. We, you know, we uh, took some good swings off and we, we hung around and then they, they blew it open, so. Uh, Gibby, you and Frosty had to go out and check on him in the second inning. Can you tell us what was going on there? Well, we're a little gun shy to begin with, but um, yeah, so I'm stretching his legs out there and you know moving his arm all around. So we just went out. You know, he said he said he's fine. You know, so. Yeah, when a pitcher is has a bread and butter breaking ball like like Bolsinger does. And it's not there. Do you generally like the pitcher to keep going to it, or do you prefer to kind of adjust to it and try to find something that's working? Well, I mean, that, if that's that's your pitch, you got to keep using it, you know, because a lot of times you, you know be, it'll be missing, and then all of a sudden something clicks, you know. And, and uh, you know, curveball, you know, sometimes you got to slow your body down, speed your arm up a little bit, because you know, it looked like he was having trouble catching up, because a lot of them were just kind of flat up in the zone, that kind of thing. But you know, he, he did throw some good ones, so you, you know, you saw that and think, okay, maybe he finds that groove, but he, he never really did. But guys, if that's if that's your your go-to pitch, you know Cecil was a lot like that. You know, then you're kind of if you don't have it, you're kind of naked out there. You know. Give at some point, did you just want to get through that game and ride Campos as far as you could? Yeah, that's what happened. I mean, re really going in, we needed uh, we we're hoping at least four, really five. You know, at a bowl singer because you know there's some guys we we had to stay away from in the bullpen. And then we thought, you know, Campos, if he could get us at least three innings, would be ideal. They almost got there. With a couple of guys on the mound, they're both throwing kind of in the mid to high 80s. Had a little bit of a different look. How do you feel about your team's chances in games that are more about, you know, stringing hits together and uh, playing defense when the ball's going to be in play a lot? Well, yeah, I mean, you, you look at uh, uh, Cologne, you know, he's been at it a long time, and, and he really basically throws fastballs at you, and he just he just picks the plate apart, you know, and uh, so you know what you're going to get, and, uh, you know, sometimes you can get a little you get, get a little too aggressive with that, you know, and, uh, but yeah, you know there's probably going to be some contact, and same thing, same way with Bolsinger, but you know, we've seen, uh, you know, Estrada pitches the same way, a lot of times, you know, there can be a lot of strikeouts there, so it depends. How good they are that night. Gibby, after winning five in a row and, and whatever out of how many, uh, is that a, an easy one to sleep on, uh, a loss like that going into tomorrow? Well, yeah, I mean, we were going to lose another game this year. I mean, we haven't had a clunker in a while. I don't know if we've even had many of them. Um, so yeah, you just put it put it past you. You know, you, we had that feeling. You know what? If we, we if we hang around, if we get a couple shutdown innings, we might be able to climb back into that thing. You know, but then they just kept opening it up. You know, I don't know where we hit four or five guys tonight. That didn't help things. Uh, yeah, but you move on. You know, we've been playing good baseball. Let, let that one go and go tomorrow. We got a Strata going tomorrow, so we always feel good there. Just thoughts on Olman's performance tonight: first uh, major league hit and first RBI. Yeah, a big, big night for him. You know, I mean, it, it took, only took him two games, but you know, you, you when you come up, you always want to get that under your belt. You know, and um, and I thought he took some good swings. I thought he took he took a lot of good swings his first night uh, last week, and then just, you know, driving a run on top of that's pretty cool too. So, what have you seen from Devin Travis over the last couple of days? It looks like he's kind of starting to emerge from his uh, slump. Yeah, well, you know, Devin can hit. Devin's hit since he he got here, you know, two years ago, whatever it was. Uh, you know, he's I mean, he's battled some injuries, no no doubt about that. And I, I think you know, if he if he's a guy that he can stay healthy, he's got a chance to be one of the better hitters in baseball. You know, I mean, he's got that ability. But it's you know, it's been a tough go for him. You know, he he buried himself early, but you, I mean, he's he's on a nice little roll. He's you know, he's getting a couple hits a night, starting to drive the ball a little bit better. You know, so it really comes down to confidence too. But I, health-wise, he's feeling fine. So that's that's a big thing. 